Class 3 event is race number 7 and it uh, features a Hong Kong bet at the top of the book. It's over the 1,200 metres in the class drop. Hong Kong bet, he's a two-time winner and a second from six starts in this grade. Green Eon goes up an extra furlong in distance from the seventh to Harmony Fire. Stanley Park, he's second start for Francis Loy. All for South has his Happy Valley debut on Wednesday night. No trials here either. We've got Stoicism, the seven beaten favourite last time. Telecom Smart up in grey and makes his class three debut. Similar draw to what he had when he won last start. Shusan, no luck with the barriers. 12 again, but he's a four-time course and distance winner. Jolly Goodhart back into class three on the back of his last start win. And Rhapsody, he raced wide last time out and he's drawn a barrier number 10 this week, Tom. Up front, Jolly Goodhart from gate number two. He was able to dictate from the front last time out. And Stanley Park had traditionally has been a horse that likes to go forward. And I think you'll do that with Jerry Chow from gate number 11. Family folks uh, there, he had a, a tough run last time out. He was no closer than four deep throughout. Uh, Stoicism's been handy enough in his runs. And all for South, interested to see what uh, kind of uh, tactics they adopt. Uh, Matthew Poon and Frankie Law from uh, barrier number nine, because on paper it does appear a little bit tricky. Now, Rhapsody's drawn 10, and last time out when he was over the 1,200 metres at the Valley, he didn't handle that first turn at all well. He did not. You're exactly right, Tom. He uh, wanted to crab out going into the back straight. This is a very strong race over at Shah Tin, uh, Paul. We've got Green Eon down on the rail. The big horse is Naboo Attack that wins, and Hong Kong Bet, who's got no form at Sha Tin, but does love racing at the Valley. Yeah, look, I, I quite like Hong Kong um, Bet coming out of this race. As you say, this is in uh, Class 2. He's now down into to this class here, Class 3. Uh, he did win, he's won off this rating before, and he really hit the line strongly behind the Boo Attack. So I, I, I quite like him. This I don't mind Green Eon as well, though, to be fair. He, he went uh, a good race as well. So I've got them both in. I was a little disappointed with uh, Green Eon last time out. He didn't appear to be travelling that well uh, in the run. We didn't see that there in that uh, replay. But certainly like Hong Kong bet the way he was uh, finishing off uh, down the outside last uh, time out. He won off 79 back in... July of 2019, so it's been a wee while since he's been able to claim one, but the class drop, Zach Purton, there's uh, plenty of favours I think he gets this time round. He looks a tricky horse to ride, Green Eon. He took off one night at Happy Valley towards the outside fence coming to the home turn as well. We've got Alkari here, Tom, and Stoicism. He's yet to win in 15 at Happy Valley, Alkari, but he's been running on plenty of times. In Joe Marrera rides, he rode to Transcendent on this occasion, who zoomed up along the inside to there of Alkari last time out. It was actually quite a good run in the end from him because he was five deep the first turn, kept pressing forward onto the lead and he was still boxing on well enough at the end, Paul. Yeah, I've got our curry and I think he's going well enough at the moment and the horse has been quite consistent. He's only three-time winner from his starts, but look, he's been consistent on a place line. He was ridden more forward in that race. We saw the replay as well. Telecom Smart Paul is a horse that's just got better and better with racing. Pretty good win last time down in class. Can he go up and trouble these? Yeah, there's a lot of money for him uh, this day as well. He got the race run to suit. He came down the outside and he won really nicely. Look, he didn't quite make it in for me, uh, Telecom Smart up in grade, but it was a nice strong win. I put him in. I quite like his turn of foot and he was going away from them there at the line as well. He deserved that win. He was sort of midfield, caught wide off the back straight, but uh, the way he was able to kick strongly in the straight, I think he can be competitive here. He's just got better with racing and uh, really was rewarded for consistency with that victory. OK, uh, selections, Paul. Going to go with the top one, uh, downgraded, Zach Purden's mount. I just think this is the right race for him. Uh, one off this uh, rating before, Hong Kong bet, Alkari's been consistent and going nicely. Family Folks is a horse we haven't spoken about. It was a nice win two starts ago here at Happy Valley. And uh, he should get a nice similar run here from barrier number three. And we'll give Green Eon another chance coming back to the Valley. Well, he did start at the Valley last time, uh, Green Eon, but he does like it here. One, five, six and two. I'll put Hong Kong bet on top of horse number one for Jimmy Ting and to Zach Purton. He's in the market at 8.3 at the moment and 3.6 uh, early in betting. Uh, a loose favourite in this contest. Look, he chased home to Boo Attack, who lines up again at the weekend. And he was only beaten three and a quarter there. He raced wide, but made good ground out wider. So back in grade here, top weight and all, I think he still can win. Uh, Telecom Smart goes in, El Kari. And I'll put Rhapsody in. Look, he was poor last time out. He really hung out badly around that first turn and dropped out. But he stayed on OK in a recent barrier trial. He was beaten favourite on that occasion too. So 1, 8, 5 and 12. And it's a very open race. Tom mentioned the price around Hong Kong, but the favourite is Alkari. In early betting, he's at 5.1, so it could be a very loose favourite by the time we get to start time for race number seven at 9.45.